Hello beautiful walking miracles and welcome back to my channel and happy Free Yourself Friday. My name is Cassidy and I mentor busy professionals to detox their mind and body, gain more energy and live a natural lifestyle so that they can take control of their health. And on today's edition of Free Yourself Friday, I'm going to be talking with you about how I cleared my dairy allergy and why I eat raw dairy. I'm so stoked to finally be talking to you about this topic because I have waited until I have really fully cleared my dairy allergy and really learned lots of important information that I'm about to share with you before I was able to create this video. So I just absolutely love that from learning from mentors, guides, from learning from the abundance of information online, we really can collapse our time and not make the same mistakes that others did. And I'm just oh, so grateful to be here and I'm so grateful that you're here. So at the end of this video, you're gonna walk away knowing how you can clear your own personal dairy allergy if you might be allergic to maybe franken dairy, but not raw dairy, the importance of raw dairy and um, the reason why I eat it and many other little beautiful little gold nuggets in this video. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So why would I wanna even clear my dairy allergy in the first place? Isn't dairy mucus forming? Isn't dairy inflammatory? Well, it depends, like anything in life or in health, right? Health is not one size fits all. Nutrition is not one size fits all, right? We all have different biochemistries and just for health and for life, everything is about context. So for example, don't blame raw dairy or dairy for the pathogen that may be in your body, say a bacteria in your body that you need to detox that is stimulating a mucus production when you eat dairy, right? Or don't blame raw dairy or don't blame dairy for you know, being inflammatory when you haven't even researched the benefits of or experienced the benefits of raw dairy, right? And if you haven't already checked out my video, muscle testing, what's muscle testing, check that video out. It is a game changer. I love when people send me things. They're like, what do you think of this cast? Do you think this is good? Do you think this is bad? And I'm like, muscle test it. It always goes back to the bio individuality of each of our own bodies. What's best for me is not gonna be what's best for you. So I love that we can utilize muscle testing and it's really beautiful later on in this video i discuss with you how i muscle tested bad for some dairy and then eventually once after clearing my dairy allergy i muscle tested good so really to find out you know without this guesswork you know is this gonna flare up my body is this gonna make me inflame right you're gonna save yourself you know energy and you know discomfort right and not have to just play this guessing game of like let me try this food and okay it's gonna cause me discomfort and an allergic reaction essentially I don't have to do that because I can just utilize muscle testing. So super, super grateful for that. And let's talk about raw dairy. So raw dairy is completely different from what I called franken dairy, right? Franken foods, not real foods, right? Things that are um, processed, things that are altered, things that are altered from how source intends for them to be in their divine, pristine, most natural state. And so the store-bought dairy typically is going to be pasteurized dairy and through the process of pasteurization it's going to use heat to kill off um, enzymes to denature and to reduce um, vitamins minerals and nutrients in the dairy so raw dairy is completely different than pasteurized dairy so that's what i'm talking about when i'm saying regular dairy i'm talking about pasteurized dairy franken dairy and raw dairy is completely different. So raw dairy is actually a superfood. Raw dairy has all of its enzymes intact, um, fully bioavailable, right? So raw dairy has bioavailable nutrients in it. It has vitamins like A, D, K2 that most people are extremely deficient in. And once again, bioavailable, that means usable by the body. So if we're having milk that has added in vitamin, hormone D and a bunch of other synthetic BS like processed sugar, um, that's not gonna be good for us, right? And also, minerals work in ratios, and so you can think about them on like a um, seesaw, right? So if you're having a fake synthetic non-bioavailable mineral or vitamin, it's gonna throw out of balance the other minerals in your body. So 
not only is it not good for us to supplement things that our body doesn't need, but it actually can literally wreak a lot of havoc and do more harm than good, right? And once again, going back to muscle testing, that's where that can be super helpful to just ensure that you're not, you know, pushing your nerves and overdoing it and just giving your body the things that you don't need. And who wants to waste their money, right? And be confused and yeah, just be uninformed. We want to be fully empowered. And I love that muscle testing, that beautiful tool, that built-in guidance system that Source gave us can allow us to become fully empowered and get back into our health sovereignty that is our birthright. Other benefits of raw dairy include that it helps reduce allergies. And I'm super stoked to see how it helps clear up the pet dander or pet hair allergy that I seem to have that I'm clearing right now. It's amazing for your skin. Hello, our ancestors have been using animal fats for their skin for thousands of years, which is super hydrating. And once again, bioavailable for the skin as well. And my skin is loving my tallow balm from Cosmo Beauty, by the way. I love it. It's such a game changer. And it's also going to be super high in, we're talking about raw milk here, um, electrolytes. I, mean, I mentioned all of the minerals and vitamins that it contains as well. And also it's such a perfect food. It's such a beautiful food that is all that hits all three macronutrients, fat, protein, and carbs. And raw dairy, once again, it's not, it doesn't contain anything synthetic. It is in its pristine, most natural form and state and, um, you know, the pasteurized milk does have added synthetics in it. And not to mention what happens is when pasteurized milk goes under the pasteurization process, the heat is going to turn the fat in the milk. Um, it's it's going to oxidize the fat in the milk. And then what's going to happen? It's going to turn rancid in your body. So we got to detox the PUFAs. I have a video on um, what are PUFAs. Definitely check that out as well. Once raw dairy was taken off the market years ago, and yes, that's right, it is illegal in some states. And also when you get it from the store, you're gonna see on the label for pet consumption only. And once again, that is for legal issues because legally they cannot even put on there that it is raw milk for human consumption. So once they took it off the market, there was a skyrocket in allergy symptoms, bone and health issues, and more and more disease, right? More disease symptoms were popping up. And, you know, I don't know about you, but anything that the government makes illegal that is from nature is a huge red flag for me, especially what we have experienced and what has been brought into the spotlight over the past few years. And so it's said that it was taken off the market because they said that it contains too many harmful pathogens like bacteria, um, parasites, etc. But let me break this down for you guys and remind you. So it's not to say that you're going to get necessarily bacteria or parasites or a pathogen from raw milk, but here's what's really going on, guys. So the enzymes that we're lacking in our body due to not having the proper nutrition, due to nutritional deficiencies, right? Like these enzymes that are inside of raw milk, and a mixture of that and our toxic compromised environment. For example, when you use toxic laundry sh laundry soap, it's actually going to eat away at your enzymes. It's actually literally calories to the body, to, to the liver. Um, so yeah, that's really gonna deplete your enzymes as well. That's just one example, right? So because of our compromised body and environment, because of our literally compromised outdoor in body, um, environment, right? We live in a toxic soup food, air, water is poison, etc. So because of that, it is causing these parasites or pathogens to come into, say you have, you know, um, certain, you know, weak tissues in your body, it's going to cause them to come in and for you to be more susceptible to receive and not be able to detox out these harmful pathogens because our bodies are made to be able to withstand harmful pathogens and fight them off, right? We have healthy immune systems. We're literally made and created to do that but when we have toxic overload in our body once again nutritional deficiencies we don't have these enzymes that we need then what's going to happen is we're more susceptible to receiving these harmful pathogens so it's just such a great reminder right that's like say that i have a weak tissue in my throat right well if i have weak tissue in my throat and we find that i have a parasite in there as well even if i detox the parasite out of my body and it's 
removed from my throat, if I still have weak tissue in there and that environment is still compromised, the parasite is going to be more likely to come back or not the parasite it's killed off right but other parasites maybe or different harmful organisms are going to be more likely to come back right so fascinating so we always got to get down to the root cause right oh this is causing inflammation in my knee oh this is the knee inflammation we're taught to put a bandana to treat the knee inflammation but what's causing the knee inflammation it could be something that you were like oh my gosh i didn't even know right and one way that you can detox and heal your tissues and eat away at inflammation scar tissue calcification fibrosis etc is mitolife.co's systemic enzymes and i have discount codes for this as well and you can hit me up for that it's conscious casting 15 and that's also going to apply to the mitolife dairy absorb product that i'm about to talk about so also i'm really excited to share with you how i safely consume raw dairy and actually get rid of any harmful pathogens that may be in there but because of the nature of the beast and how it works with them not liking that we share about suppressed technology, I'm gonna go ahead and link that video below, which will take you to a Google Drive link, which gets us off of this platform as these bots will be triggered. Um, the, basically the words that I say will trigger the bots to maybe censor my video and things like that. So we gotta play the game. So I'll see you guys in that Google drink, <laughs> Google Drive link. <laughs> so how the heck did I clear my dairy allergy? So I cleared my dairy allergy from using a supplement that is called, essentially it's just an enzyme and it is called lactase, which helps break down lactose. So kind of like rewinding here, um, in my earlier years growing up, right, I had dairy, right, I had regular pasteurized dairy, and I, in my, like, maybe when I was, like, 19, 20, I cut out dairy, and then because I cut out this franken dairy, right, pasteurized dairy, when I had it again and introduced back in, after not having it for, like, a year or however long it was, I got inflamed, like, sinuses, I would get, you know, stuffy nose, mucus, things like that, so I did form that belief, oh, dairy is mucus forming, right, um, so basically that's what I experienced. And then after learning about the benefits of raw milk and raw dairy, and then also after considering like, Hmm, it would be nice to like, you know, be able to go and go have some organic pizza sometime or like, you know, or just maybe my mom makes an Italian dish with some cheese in it. And I just want to have that. Right. Cause everything is about balance, of course. Right. Although I will say everything is about balance, but when it comes to me, if you're like, oh, everything's about balance, so, you know, have a cheesecake sometimes. I'm the type of person where I'm just like, oh, instead of having just like a cheesecake wherever, like I'm just gonna make my own cheesecake with raw dairy. Ooh, I can't wait to do that. You know, that's how I feel. I can still have those yummy foods, but how can I do it in an even nourishing, healthy way, you know? So that's just where I personally stand. But yes, everything is about balance. So I decided to get the... Uh, Mito Life's Dairy Absorb, which is the lactase enzyme, into here and there when I ate, ate dairy to eat that supplement with it. And I would just take a couple capsules depending on how much dairy I had. And in doing so, it's basically programming my body to think that I produced the lactase enzyme again, right? Because my body stopped producing that enzyme. So then after some time, what happened was Previously, I was just eating ghee, which ghee is great for people who are lactose intolerant, dairy-free, because it doesn't have any casein or I believe um, lactase in it. So you're able to actually break down that dairy and dairy sensitive people like me in the past were able to have, are able to have ghee. So it's basically just butter, but without those enzymes in it. So then uh, what happened was I previously muscle tested the Kerry Gold's pasture raised grass fed butter. That is a pasteurized butter product. I do want to get my hands on some raw butter and eventually make my own, of course, but I muscle tested it and the body said, nope, no, you know what I mean? Like it's an allergy. We can't have that. But then once again, after having that lactase enzyme, that dairy absorb product, repeatedly my body naturally started producing the enzyme lactase again so i muscle tested the Kerrygold's pasture raised grass-fed butter 
again and the body said yes and i was able to have butter now i want to talk to you about how i eat my butter as well actually let me finish my dairy story and then i'll get into you know what i eat and how to how to prepare properly so so that was really exciting and i even tested for a colostrum which is a dairy product as well product from my doctor and so it was just wonderful to be able to clear out you know that dairy allergy i will say that many people who are um sensitive to dairy who are lactose intolerant typically aren't for raw milk it's completely different and this is because the enzymes are still intact right they're not denatured they're not destroyed and in fact the weston a price foundation which if you don't know about that definitely research that check out their website and check out their amazing blogs and articles which they talk about the benefits of raw dairy the benefits of butter and all of these foods that have been commonly demonized i definitely fell into that propaganda bullshit and our superfoods you know are incredible superfoods so basically this study had it was 700 families and what happened was they were lactose intolerant families and then once they had raw dairy they actually 80 percent of them were not sensitive to the raw dairy so this just goes to show that raw dairy is just so, so completely different than come than franken dairy so yes so you can definitely try out raw dairy if you're someone that is dairy sensitive and then now going to the dairies that i eat and how to prepare it and where to get it as well so with when it comes to that butter i personally don't cook with butter why well because going back to what i said about poofas um, when we heat up certain fats for too long it can become rancid and it can oxidize it oxidizes and it becomes rancid making it inflammatory to the body so sometimes you might cook with butter and be like i feel like shit. it shouldn't be that way right so what i do is i will say i prepare some sweet potatoes i'll actually throw in raw butter with once again all of its enzymes still intact not denatured at all or um, damaged from the heating process from cooking it and i'll put it on there right on top raw and then sprinkle in some salt same goes for salt i do still cook with it but it's nice to just put it on put the salt on you know in its raw form not cooked into the food so very important little tip there on how to properly eat your butter i also eat raw dairy which i get from a local health food store and i'm also gonna join a like basically a location where you pick up the raw dairy and you have to join and you know like put in your order and etc um i also eat i just now yet i'm so excited yesterday i just tried raw milk for the first time and it is delectable i grew up on skim milk ew i know disgusting so when i was like at my friend's house and we had two percent milk i was like this is like candy and that's what it reminds me it reminds me of like that two percent milk taste it's just it's delectable oh so delicious so um, and then raw cheese, yeah. So I look forward to trying, you know, raw ice, um, raw dairy ice cream and cream and things like that when they become available in the local area that I'm in. And of course, making my own dairy ice, raw dairy ice cream as well. So where do I find this? Well, you can actually find when you go to realmilk.com, you can type in your zip code and you will um, get a lot of different options for hopefully, I'm manifesting that for you and praying for you for that, for your raw air, for your raw area, for your local area to be able to find raw dairy near you and then i also get it you can also get it from you know local health food stores which may not show up on that real realmilk.com website but i get it from a local health food store if you're in fort myers florida like me and it's ada's and you do have to call ahead put your name on a list and if it's just available at the store which it's like a hot commodity now and people are waking up to the truth about animal products and i'm so excited um you will see on typically on these you know jugs of milk it's going to say for pet consumption only once again that's just to cover their ass it is safe for human consumption that's just what they have to put on there so yeah i think that pretty much covers on where to get your raw dairy and as always i would love to hear from you in the comments i would love to know if you're gonna try raw milk if you have any questions for me about it and raw dairy obviously not just raw milk but you're ready to try some of that good raw cheese mm, mm, mm. it is so delectable and i would just love to know what resonated for you in this video what landed for you anything that you'd like to share with me i always love connecting with you and as always if you enjoy this video please hit that like button subscribe to my channel turn on notifications for the next for yourself friday video and share this with somebody that may be a little bit nervous about trying some raw dairy but 
Now their mind can be a little bit more rest assured and they can learn about some of the amazing benefits of dairy. I'll also link below a nice little article from Dr. Axe that discusses the benefits of raw dairy. So as always, thank you so much for tuning in. I cannot wait to see you next Friday and to continue to expand our consciousness and take control of our health together, family. We are here for a reason and we are here in the most exciting time, I believe, in human history. What an honor it is to be here with you. Sending you my love and light. Please receive it. Namaste.